I'm Elizabeth at A Literary Princess, and today we are doing a currently reading video. So I'm currently reading just two books, but I am about to start two others today, so I figured I would talk about those as well. So let's jump in. First up, I have finally started George Eliot, A Life by Rosemary Ashton. This is a biography of George Eliot obviously, that I am reading for my George Eliot project. I am currently on page 108, and I have read the first four chapters. I have just gotten up to where George Eliot has gotten together with um, George Lewis or Lewis. I don't actually know how that's pronounced, and I probably should have looked it up before I started filming, but I didn't. So, of course, George Eliot is the pen name of Marianne Evans, the author of Middlemarch, The Mill on the Floss, Adam Bede, and a whole host of other Victorian novels. She is considered one of the greatest Victorian women novelists, honestly one of the greatest Victorian novelists, period, regardless of gender. So, I am really enjoying this so far. <laughs> there is some really just crazy stuff in here. Like, the first few chapters were so normal, just like normal Victorian life. And then George Eliot moves to London and starts boarding with, what is his name? I forget his name. Chapman, but I don't know his first name. I, but who is a guy in the literary world <laughs> who is married but also has a mistress who is his children's governess. But like the wife is aware and they just kind of go about their thing. But then both the wife and the mistress believe he's having an affair with Elliot. And it was just a mess. And I was laughing so hard. I had to read it out loud to my husband because it, there's a lot of quotes from diaries and letters in here. And it was just hysterical especially because Chapman is writing about all these issues in his diary. And then all of Elliot's letters to her friends at the same time are just like, oh yes, everything's perfectly normal and fine. <laughs> so I'm, I am enjoying this quite a bit. It's, I, I'm sure it's just going to get crazier from here because now she is in a relationship with a married man. So definitely enjoying this. Glad I picked it up. It's giving me a lot of context for what I have read in her novels so far. Next up is a Victorian novel. This is The Doctor's Family by Margaret Oliphant. This is the third work in the Chronicles of Carlingford, but it is the first novel because the first two are short stories. This is following Dr. Edward Ryder, who is kind of a recent addition to Carlingford. He has set up a practice as a doctor, even though there is already a doctor in Carlingford, Dr. Marchbanks, who has a very good practice. And Edward has this brother, Fred, who is a complete degenerate, an alcoholic, a layabout, who showed up at Edward's house and Edward got stuck taking care of him. And then it turns out that Unbeknownst to Edward, Fred was married with three children, and his wife, his children, and his sister-in-law, Nettie, all show up on Edward's doorstep looking for Fred because they haven't heard from him in a year. They are from Australia. <laughs> and Edward ends up falling for Nettie, who is like such a capable woman. Fred's family's a mess. His wife is useless. He's useless. His children are wild. And so Nettie is just keeping everything in order despite being a single woman with a very small income to herself. And Edward falls for her. I am a little over halfway through this. I think there are 18 chapters. I'm up to chapter 10. I am loving this so far. This is either going to be a four and a half star or a five star read for me. I'm having so much fun. I adore Nettie as a character. She's fantastic. Absolutely loving it. 
So then for the two that I haven't started yet, but I'm going to be starting today, the first one is Assembly by Natasha Brown. My friend Michaela read this for her book club this month and she recommended it to me and lent it to me. And it's very short. The type is blessedly large. Look at that. Oh, love it so much. And I'll read the back because I know that it takes place over like a day for this party, kind of similar to Mrs. Dalloway. Um, the, narrator, the narrator of Assembly is a black British woman preparing to attend the lavish garden party at her boyfriend's family estate set deep in the English countryside. At the same time, she's considering the carefully assembled pieces of herself and standing at a momentous crossroads. As the minutes tick down and the future beckons, she can't escape the question, is it time to take it all apart? So that sounds super interesting to me. And I really can't wait to read it. My friend said it's amazing. So very excited. I don't think this will take me very long to read. I think I probably could technically read it all today, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll probably read it in like two days or something like that. But yeah, very excited for this. And then the other book that I am starting today is my next uh, read in my reread of the Chronicles of Narnia. This is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader by C.S. Lewis. This is the third Narnia book if you're reading in publication order, the fifth book if you are reading in chronological order, and it follows Edmund and Lucy and their cousin um, Eustace as they get pulled into Narnia again. And I just love this first sentence. There was a boy called Eustace Clarence Scrub, and he almost deserved it. <laughs> it's like, it's just a great opening sentence, one of the greatest ever. It's hilarious. I have, I think, read this as an adult, but now I'm actually not sure because it's not coming up on my Goodreads, so I don't know. I really, really like this book, though, a lot. I think after The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, it's probably my favorite. I'm having such a fun time with my reread of this series so far. I actually like, kind of teared up when I started The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Like, not gonna lie. So I am really looking forward to this one, and I just love the addition and the beautiful illustrations. Let me find you a good one. Like, oh, they're all in color. I'm just so happy with these and I'm so happy I'm rereading them right now. So those are the books that I am currently reading or am about to be currently reading after I film these videos. Let me know down in the comments below. Have you read any of them? What did you think? What are you reading right now? It has been great chatting with you. I will see you soon. Bye.